Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookmma.com and me, Crafty Scrapper, here on YouTube and Instagram. I have my traveler's notebook out. This is my one of my standard size, and I'm getting out my art journal, and I'm going to do an entry today. Um, I've had a few people say that they would really like to see this more on my channel. I love doing this, but I don't really think I have that big of an audience for it. But I will go ahead and do one anyway. And those that love it will be here and those that don't can go on to the next video, right? They don't have to stay around okay so i'm going to actually do this layout but i thought while i have it out let's go ahead and cover up these front pages i have never um i just haven't taken the time to cover them up so let's go ahead and do that i'm going to cut off just this little spot there and then cut off this top and get all the white off around the edges. And then I'll cut it to size as far as my cover goes. I have lots of digitals I could use in my kit, I mean, in my um, art journal now. I like that like that. That's pretty. Okay, so I'm going to get my pencil that I know I have around here somewhere. And I'm going to make me a little tick spot there to trim it off. This paper, this came, I'm pretty sure, from um, my porch prints. She has some of the prettiest digitals. I just love that. With the dictionary page there behind it. Very pretty. Okay, and then this page, let's do it like so. And then come over. Let's make our little tick mark there. And then I'll have that middle piece to do whatever I want to with. <laughs> Like there's going to be a lot that I'll do that do with that, but oh well. Okay, and then I need to get my... I'm hoping that once I get this all filled up, I can do one complete flip through, and then maybe I'll have a little more interest when it comes to my art journal as far as the videos go. Um, I think once somebody sees the completed and filled up art journal, it makes it a little more interesting than just seeing one layout at a time in videos. I don't know. Maybe it won't interest any more people. So I'm just doing it for the few of my people that want to see it. And um, anybody that doesn't, of course, my regular old videos that I do, um, about making mini albums and folios and stuff like that is still gonna be content on my YouTube channel. Just don't think that I can ever go away from that. Y'all like that stuff too much. But I do really like making art journals and the entries in them. So if y'all have other ideas other than this let me know and I've done Bible journaling I've done planning on my um, channel but that doesn't seem to be anything that lots of people want to watch either <laughs> so I just try to find as mama says my niche and um, figure out what goes over the best and what y'all like the best because I don't want to bore you to death. 
This is a standard size traveler's notebook. And it is a craft paper or craft cardstock insert. So all the pages are this beautiful craft color and they're quite thick. So really when I am adding in entries, I just really need to add in paper. I don't even need cardstock pieces because the pages are so thick. All right, so I'm getting that lined up there. Looks good. I really like that. And is there anything I want to put on that? Anything else? Because that's so pretty. I don't know if there is, hmm, let's see. Maybe. Let's stamp a butterfly here. Let's go with this one. It might be a little hard to fussy cut, but I'm still going to go with that one. So let's do what color here? I've got some pinks and mauves. Let's go with this Victorian velvet that I haven't even opened. Okay, and I'm going to stamp, stamp, stamp. And then I'm going to stamp on dictionary page. Pretty. I like that. Okay, and then I'm going to get my pen and I'm going to go over the lines and define those a little bit. And then I'll cut around these defined lines that I put around the butterfly. And do these little legs. And his antenna, probably, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to fussy cut all that, the little antennas and everything out. We'll see, huh? But I like that on dictionary page. That's pretty. I'm gonna cut around, get rid of excess, and start fussy cutting. Oh yeah, that the fine line that I put on there helps quite a bit. That is so pretty. I think I'm going to ink my edges, get all this off, and get my book out, and I'm just going to pat, pat, pat. All right, I got my little butterfly fussy cut out there, and I'm going to add it to this little branch here. Hopefully, maybe, if my glue will cooperate, I will add it to the little branch and lay it over like that. Cute. All right, I do believe that's all I'm going to do to that little layout there. I love that. I might put just a dollop back behind the wings there so it doesn't pop up. So cute little entry pages to my art journal there. And then that was a page that I shared on Instagram. And then this is a layout that I did on um, a video a little while back. And now let's do another entry. Let's wipe off this stamp and get it back in 
its package here that's just right beside me. Um, I had someone ask about this stamp set, and this is by Stampendous, and it is called Butterflies, and there is the skew, whomever was looking for that, 744019150058. I'm not sure that we can still get this anymore, but that is the SKU number. It's just called Butterflies SSC028 from Stampendous. So there is that for whomever was looking for that. I need to try to find that comment and leave that info for them. I need to get this glue off of here. All right, now, what to add here? I think I want to do book page. Since I actually have some books now, some old books, that's what I want to add to stuff now. I think I'll just add it to that one side. And maybe some ledger paper, too. I think I will. It says, don't you dare laugh at your mother. That is for sure. Don't you dare do that. Okay. And rip that. And this. I think I'm going to rip that just a little more. There. I like that. And then maybe some ledger paper. Get it nice and torn up. A little short piece here. Need to do it a little more narrow. And a little more narrow than that. Okay. And then I think I'm going to put that one on that side. This one on this side. Now remember, when you are art journaling, you're making it your own. And you are doing quite a bit of collaging. So what you add to the very base of your pages may not be seen much when you are finished. So I'm adding some white gesso to this page before I put down my book page. This is thick, thick gesso, but I love it. And I love the way the white shows around after you put it on. So I'm sticking it down with the gesso and then I'm applying more gesso to the top to get that really good mixed media effect. Now, on this, I'm going to dirty it up some before I lay it down, and that's gonna get me some smears in the gesso also before or after I put this down and then go across my ledger paper again. It's going to give me some nice smears of ink. Because that gesso is going to mix in with that distress ink. There. And here. And on that corner there. Okay. Now I need to 
uh, and whoever is not a mixed media person, don't fall away yet. It always looks like a hot mess before it looks great. So, don't go away just yet. Now see how that gesso is mixing in with that ink. I'm gonna dry just a little bit. Okay, it is not completely dry, but before it does get completely dry, I'm gonna go in with some Vintage Photo Oxide Spray, and I'm going to just dabble a little bit of this around and try not to ruin my desktop. I should get my non-stick mat up here. Duh. Okay, I'm just looking for a little bit of splattering. And then I still got it off on top of my desktop. On top of my desktop. <laughs> All right. I'm going to wipe this off while it's still good and wet so it'll come off easily. And there's splatters. And then I will add some more. I'm just going to go around with my pencil around the top edge and bottom edge just kind of look um, have that sketch look there just to add some character to the page I watch a um, girl named Marta and if you know her channel, you know how brilliant she is when it comes to um, mixed media and art journaling. She has a real knack for that. And um, I want to be her when I grow up. <laughs> she does some fantastic art journaling. Okay, now in here where this is still not drying and pooling. I'm going to pat, pat, pat with my rag and that's just going to give me even more splots and splatters because I'm just getting them dried off. Okay, and then I think I need some type of maybe a ticket I made those mm, last week I think maybe in a video and then one of these little stamps I like the tulips those are pretty maybe there and I'm going to leave this out I think I need to do a little bit of stamping on these craft places that don't have anything on them yet. Um, let's see. This is the uh, Tim Holtz ticket booth stamp, and I think I'll just use this one. Got to get out my big stamp block and I want my black soot ink pad and I'm just going to take the ink pad to the stamp make sure it all gets covered okay and then Stamp on there and then stamp off. Do that little ghosting technique. And even if the gesso gets on your 
stamp itself, it is quite easy to clean out while it's still wet. And then I think I want to stamp and then I'm going to stamp off on my little paper pad over here twice and then come over here and do a stamp off there. I like that. Okay, clean off my stamp. Then, let's see, is there any more stamping with the black soot? I don't think so. I think I might want to use this other Tim Holtz and do this circle up here. I think this circle. my little ink stamp block. I want to call them ink for some reason. All right. And I, yep, let's do it in Victorian velvet since it's just there. That is pretty. Do one there and maybe off a little bit up there in the corner. I like that. Very pretty. Do here. And another one and then ghost it there. Yep. Okay. Let's see here. What else I want to do to this page? Put our stamp back up. I think I want to cover up a little bit of that since it's so bold. And I've got a die cut somewhere that will go there. Let me put that back in its that way. Put that away. Let's see. I've got that that I can hang from the top. I like that with the green. Maybe one of these, let's see. Oh, that butterfly is very pretty. I love that. Hmm, let's see where we wanna put it. Oh, I like it right there. And I think I'm gonna put a staple in the top of it like it's hanging there. I like that. And go ahead and glue that on. Okay. And then I'll get in there and glue that top down a little better in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and put this ticket down. Yep, I like that. And, well, that's a stamp. It's not really a ticket, is it? Um, let's see here. Maybe move it over just a little bit have it hanging from the top. I like that. And I could even do a paper clip up there. Ooh, I like it right there. Okay, let's ink that and ink this. This is just die cuts and little papers and snippets and scraps that I had just laying around left over from other things. All right, I'm going to put down 
my little fern piece and then my little postmark piece there and there pretty it's wanting to move around on me too much there and then my little dainty butterfly that I just stamped on some cream colored paper. It's not even cardstock. It's just paper. All right. And then I need to go in on this one. Since it is vellum, it's wanting to pop up on the edges and just get that all laid down on all sides. And I like when it wrinkles up, so that's not a deal breaker for me. I like that. And then maybe, look at there, I've got, I've stamped all over myself. Maybe a little bit more book page here after I ink it. Marta likes to say, don't think too much about it, just do it. And she does, she just willy nilly puts her stuff down on the page and it comes out so gorgeous. Just beautiful how she works. And I am nowhere near that level and may not ever be, but I mean, she just makes some of the most beautiful art journal layouts. A little bit more glue on that one. I like how that's blending into the background. I really do. I like that. Okay, so now I want to add a little bit of wording. Let's look what I have in this. I don't think I need any more post-looking stuff. I might... No, nope, that's blue. I don't think I need that. Let's look. I think that green's a little too much. Let's go. Yeah, I like that. Let's do a few layered up phrases of that one. And this is, I've used this in one other video. This is from the Digital Hobby Helper. Let's see. Um, oh, I like that. Decide what matters most and do it. I love that. I'm going to add that one. here. Never give up. Keep going. Beautiful. And maybe one more. Let's do the power of three, like you've heard me say before. Um, maybe... <laughs> I can do hard things. That's a good one. Then, when I get done decorating this, on the little bit of space that I've left myself here to write on, I will do my writing, my journaling off camera, and then I'll give you a still shot at the end of it. Let's see. Yep, I think I'm going to do that there. Let's ink 
that. It's just easier for me to put it up against this book when it's just on paper. Okay. Yep, I'm going to put that one sideways like that. Then ink these and I know I use this washi here a lot, but I love it. I love the book page background and the little butterflies that are on it. And since I've got butterflies on here, I thought that that would go really well down here let's put that on and then use my sticky scissors that's what i call these i use them on sticky items so i don't mess up my good ones all right and lay that down and then put that there yep i like that let's go ahead and Get that put down. I love that idea. Just don't think too much about it. Just put it down. Just do it. Put it down. And I've heard other YouTubers say it's just paper, right? And it is just paper. So just put it down. And if you don't like it, you can always take this out of your journal. <laughs> just take these two pages out of your journal if you wanted to. But I've never done that. I've just went with what I felt that day. And if it made me happy that day, I just stuck with it. And when I come back to it, I might go, what in the world was I thinking? That just does not even look right. But it's okay. Because I like it. At this very moment, we are good. So, trying to think if there's anything else I would like to do. I'm going to take a page out of Marta's book and kind of outline this stamp here it's vintage looking stamp and if i just go along the edges of it i'm going to get those stamp bridges i like that and maybe go around this book page here and let's see let's go around here there and she does quite a bit of painting but I'm just not going to do that since I've got my gesso and my splatters I'm not going to do much painting through here but I am going to go in to my pencil lines and kind of darken them up a little bit to get what looks like little faux stitching done in here And the wonkier it looks, the better in my opinion. So you just kind of go in there and making it a little wonky. I like that. I really do like that. Let me know what you think. I thought about the ticket and I just don't think, I think it would crowd it up too much. I don't want to cover that up. I think the ticket would just crowd it up just a little bit too much. So I am going to journal in here and I can get a few journal lines here and then most all of my journaling will be here. And when I get that done, I will give you um, still shots at the end so that you can see up close and personal details. Let me look and see if I can get, oh yeah, we're getting really good light today so I can show you up close
yeah that looks really good my camera is focusing really well today so i will let the rest of this gesso dry and i will do my journaling like i said show you still shots at the end thank you so much for stopping by and letting me get my art journal going and um, i know that this may not be everybody's cup of tea but i really love to art journal so i appreciate you stopping by and being with me while i do this and staying around while i get my process done y'all have a great day i will see you in the next video god bless bye y'all